Sun family, Sun Dan here, We're talking Jacksonville Sun's improvements to the ball grounds at Jacksonville, Bragenfield. We're going to have some awesome improvements. We're going to show you them real quick. Here from Mr. Babby himself, we're going to be talking about the Tiki Bar and uh, the new Sundowner Lounge. Also, they're going to have some really cool things by the bullpen, so you can check out bullpen sessions. But before that, we get to all that, let me give a shout out to Beach Boulevard Automotive. My boy Will hooked my boy Robbie up with this tight little car, got me down here to Bragenfield where everybody needs to be, April 7th, opening day. Let's go Marlins, let's go Suns. Let's hear from Mr. Babby on what's coming to Jacksonville Suns. Thank you guys so much for coming this afternoon. We really appreciate it. These microphones are so tall, they make me look very short, which I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Thank you guys so much for being here this afternoon and um, feels like we could definitely play baseball today, which we'll do here one week from today with Florida versus Florida State. Uh, really excited to, for, to see a packed house here uh, next Tuesday uh, for, for a big event. And we've got quite a bit of to, uh, news to announce here this afternoon. Um, and what I'd like to do is start the process uh, as kind of working my way uh, from your left, my right, across a series of different announcements uh, and, and proposed improvements. But before I do that, um, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about what all this means and what it's going to ultimately mean for fans of the Jacksonville Suns and for the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. Uh, today, uh, we are here to announce uh, $1.8 million of private investment, private improvements into the baseball grounds of Jacksonville, uh, working collaboratively with the city of Jacksonville, who's been just wonderful partners really since the first day that we got here. We're going to enhance this facility with a series of renovations uh, that will continue to make it one of the most state-of-the-art facilities in minor league baseball. Uh, an amazing uh, facility already with great bones and great foundation, great history. Uh, one of the most important things and most incredible things about this facility is it's consistently been ranked by Baseball America as one of the top 25 minor league ballparks in the country. And today, with the announcements that we uh, anticipate making, uh, it will continue to be uh, one of the premier facilities in the country, and we think we're just going to make it even better. And again, a great testament to this community, uh, its love for affordable family fun, and, uh, and our investment. We've talked a lot over the last few months about what this new generation of Jacksonville Suns minor league baseball means in this community. And we've talked about the fact that while the team is here and while we're excited for great minor league baseball, everything that you knew the Jacksonville Suns to be will be fundamentally different with an emphasis on fun. And part of being fundamentally different starts with having a world-class facility to be part of and to come to every day. And over the next uh, couple of weeks, we're pretty excited about the work that's going to be done here. So let me start and walk you through some of these projects that comprise the $1.8 million of investment, tell you a little bit about why we're doing this and what it'll mean for fans. Um, I also want to have some time to, uh, to address any questions that you may have, and then um, certainly uh, we'll have news releases and copies of all the renderings for the media, so you can take those back and uh, certainly happy to answer any questions. So to your left, my right, uh, what you're seeing an image on the far left is the brand new Sundowner Lounge. The Sundowner Lounge uh, is uh, located, as if, you, if you recall, just up the steps on the suite level. This was an area that folks love congregated. It's one, it's one of the only climate controlled areas in the ballpark, air conditioned, um, great place to enjoy and spend time a little bit out of the sun. But one of the challenges with the space was that you couldn't watch the baseball game. It didn't make sense to us that uh, that you'd have such a world-class facility but couldn't enjoy a cold beer and watch the game in a climate-controlled setting. And so uh, working with our partners, who I want to thank a number of them here, and I'll list them at the end, all Jacksonville local partners and construction that's been worked on and, and been uh, you know, focusing for weeks and months on this project. The Sundowner Lounge wall has come out, and you'll now be able to see in the far left photo a rendering of what the new Sundowner Lounge will look like. It'll be a world-class event space, as I said, climate controlled with views of the entire facility, um, and obviously a, a bar and lounge area. Uh, and for those of you that are wondering what that means for the area that was the old press box, we have consolidated the press box for baseball, uh, but for other events that we hope to host here, large city events, Florida, Florida State, that space will continue to be used uh, as a great expanded press area as it always has. And for our partners, the Armada, they'll continue to use it as a press area as well. So it has a convertible space that for baseball we anticipate using um, as, a, as a new client entertainment area. Uh, perhaps one of the best parts of the Sundowner Lounge is it'll be free for fans this year to use it and to come up and enjoy it. 
just with a ticket to the ballpark, which costs just $5, $9 for a reserved seat. You can come up and take advantage of the Sundowner Lounge and have a great time with your family, friends, and, uh, and work colleagues as you sit back on a hot night and enjoy a Jacksonville Suns game. Uh, to the right of the Sundowner Lounge is a rendering uh, of our new suite level. Uh, all 12 suites at the baseball grounds have been completely gutted, renovated, recarpeted, repainted, new televisions, cleaned, new cabinetry. I want to thank our friends at RSNH for their incredible work in guiding us through that project. A number of folks from the design team of RSNH are here today. We wouldn't be here without you, and uh, we're just very thankful for your partnership and support. Um, the suite level uh, was—it was time for—it was time for a refreshing. It was dark, sometimes a little musty, uh, and not always the best setting to relax and enjoy a game. Now we're excited about these 12 suites as being really premier event areas, having some of the finest and, and, and latest technology that you'll find across professional sports in our suites, um, and, and the best sight lines we think in the, in, in the industry in terms of minor league baseball. Uh, and, and we're very excited to announce that both the suite and the Sundowner Lounge will be complete for Florida, Florida State a week from today here at the ballpark. Very excited about that. Our suites are available for uh, half season rental, full season rental, and individual night rental. It's just a few hundred bucks to come out and enjoy a game here uh, at the ballpark in a suite. So to bring your family and friends, 20 people, out to a suite, pretty, pretty affordable value. Um, and we even have a 40 person double suite, which uh, looking forward to, uh, to entertaining folks as well. All freshly renovated with a whole new culinary menu that we'll announce as we get a little bit closer to opening day. So that gives you a little bit of flavor of our, of our suite level. To the right of the suite level is uh, an area we're really excited about and it's called the Bullpen Terrace. Um, lifting a concept that we uh, effectively called Duck Row back in Akron, Ohio, we went back to our, uh, our partners at Four Tops and uh, reinvested back in a, in a swivel seat. This is a mesh back seat product that swivels from left and right, um, a drink rail in front of you and, uh, and a wonderful view. We call, call it really our version of courtside seating, seated right here behind you on the third base side behind the uh, Jacksonville Suns bullpen. You'll have the opportunity to have incredible sight lines and as we like to say you'll be seated closer to the third baseman than even, even the pitcher is. So when you're sitting in bullpen terrace you definitely want to bring your glove uh, to the game. It'll be a great experience. That's a group space. Uh, 55 seats. We're really excited about that location. Great sight lines to the, to the facility and we think a great way of taking what was already great sight lines and, uh, and making it even better. Um, you can think about that space as how, how it would convert for soccer as well. Excited for our friends at the Armada as they'll be able to have some premier seating located right behind the net. Uh, for their soccer games and that'll be a great a great seat as well for them uh, to be able to offer to their fans and so uh, great great experiences coming in bullpen terrace and those in my opinion will probably be the best outdoor seats in the house and if you're not fortunate to be in a suite that's the place you're going to want to be and, and enjoy a game and um, the culinary options at bullpen terrace will be really quite mind-blowing and you'll, you'll be get a chance to hear some of those uh, in the next week or two as we lead up until opening day Bullpen Terrace will also be ready uh, for Florida, Florida State one week from today. Really excited to have that ready to go. So that leaves one project, perhaps the noisiest project, and uh, the one that uh, we're, we're, uh, we think is going to really revolutionize this ballpark and put us on the map nationally. Uh, behind me you see the largest Tiki Bar and Tiki Terrace in Northeast Florida being constructed. As part of our $1.8 million uh, investment into the, into the facility and partnership with the city of Jacksonville, uh, the Tiki Bar and Tiki Terrace will seat 81 people. It's three tiers. It's serviceable with food and beverage and perhaps some of the best sight lines into the baseball grounds. Uh, it, the Tiki Bar will be adjacent to our international craft uh, 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 beer area with new furniture. You get a chance to see some of that behind you. It's Adirondack chairs and seating. We're, we left some of that out there to sort of give you a flavor for what to, uh, to expect out there. The Tiki Terrace, I think, will be uh, the premier group space that we'll launch in the, uh, in the facility this season. Uh, the sight lines are really incredible. Again, the Tiki Terrace will give you an opportunity to sit back, relax, enjoy the game, but also just have a, a great time with your family and friends. It's sold as a group area in the three tiers, and it's first come, first serve seating around the bar. And you can even start to see the bar structure taking place in steel up on that, on that tall, uh, on that terrace. Um, we, we arranged to have as many of these people working and as loud as possible for the press event. I'm sure once I'm done talking, they'll all go home. But 
Um, let me talk a little bit about our partners on this project. Um, we've been very, very fortunate to have uh, some incredible um, incredible partners, as I said, uh, really from the beginning here. It starts with RSNH. It's helped us with a lot of our design work. Um, I want to thank the team at Miller Electric, uh, really one of the leading electrical firms and engineering firms. Those are going to go down um, in, uh, in Jacksonville. And uh, very excited to be able to have the Miller Electric team behind us. Um, this tiki bar that you see being constructed behind us would not happen without our friends at Birkin Construction. If you haven't heard of Birkin, you will. They're really becoming sort of overnight one of the fastest growing construction and general contractors in the city. Jacksonville based. They've done a lot of other work around town. Helped out the Jaguars on some projects at Everbank Field and we're really excited to have them here. And, uh, They've committed to us that the Tiki Bar will be complete by next Tuesday for Florida, Florida State. And the weather stays like this, we feel pretty good about our chances. And so you'll expect to hopefully enjoy a cold beer sitting out here next week watching, uh, watching baseball. I want to thank a few other people that are here today and have been involved in this process. From SMG, I want to thank Bill McConnell, Keith Vanderlees, and Zane Collings. They've been great partners to us since the very, very beginning uh, of this process when we first got to Jacksonville. This is really just the series, the first series of improvements that we're planning for this facility. You know, every year you can expect, you know, different changes and things that we're planning on bringing to all enhance the fan experience. Again, we're going to be fundamentally different. We need great partners to build that, and the facility's got to shine. Um, I want to thank Dave Harrell, who's been really my partner at the city of Jacksonville, really from the first day that I got here, Dave, and our first press conference. I want to thank you personally and Joel Lamp and the city for being really just wonderful partners to us throughout the, uh, throughout the process. Alan Verlander, the team at the Jack Sports Council, they're going to be one of the great, the city and the Sports Council will be two of really the great beneficiaries of some of these improvements as we continue to bid for more national events here at the baseball grounds and really utilize this facility in a much more expansive way even beyond Jacksonville Suns baseball. You know, this year, between the Suns, the Armada, and special events, this facility will be active over 100 days. It'll be one of the most active centers of the sports complex and without doubt the most affordable with our tickets beginning at just $5. I also want to thank uh, Chris Bolt from RSNH who's here, uh, Jason Rivera who's one of the, uh, the architects who's worked on the project from the beginning, um, a guy who uh, we had to put on a plane from Akron, Ohio just because uh, we just couldn't undertake this and he's really been uh, uh, in, in some ways the uh, an unstoppable force from the day he got to Jacksonville and that's my friend Pete Popovic who I don't think has slept since I signed the paperwork to buy this team. Um, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank our incredible staff, where I try and get out as much as possible and thank our staff. They've got the hard work ahead of them in just two weeks here with baseball starting um, and, and their, their uh, endless hours. If you're a member of the Sun staff, just raise your hand. Harold Craw, our general manager, uh, doing such a wonderful job of getting everybody in a, in a great position to succeed here as the team arrives here in just a few days. And so uh, we're deeply excited about what we're building. We're deeply excited to announce this $1.8 million of investment. We're really proud of our partnership with the city and uh, and in the end it's the fans that are going to benefit here on April 7th when they walk into opening day and see a whole new generation of Jacksonville Suns baseball again really bringing affordable family entertainment to the community to Northeast Florida in a fundamentally different way and uh, we're just really pleased to uh, to, to be, be here and be a part of it and we're excited and in some ways just giddy we can't can't wait to get started so happy to take any questions What all kind of drinks will you be serving at the Tiki Bar? <laughs> uh, there will be uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic options at the Tiki Bar, and we'll get more into some of those uh, offerings as we start to roll out our culinary menu here over the next week or two. Nice jacket and hat, by the way. We like that. Thank you. Okay, what changes have you made to the actual field itself this year? Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately at the end of the day, you know, we have a Christian who's here as our groundskeeper and partners really closely with, uh, with SMG to make sure that this is the best professional baseball service it can be for our players and, you know, for the Marlins AA affiliate. We'll have executives here from the Marlins really throughout the month of April that are keenly watching the status of the facility, the status of the improvements we're making, and the playing surface. Uh, you know, the, the city's been a great partner to us in really making sure that we're really 
doing this the right way and using the right the right sod surface. I've spent you know countless hours with the SMG crew, really asking a lot of those same questions, trying to find as best as we can uh, the way to make this uh, you know the the, the best multi-purpose facility as possible. But you know first and foremost, it's got to be great for professional baseball. We have a commitment to the Marlins to do that, and we're working closely with our partners at the Armada to, to have it serviceable for soccer as well. Where you guys still have the pit zone, the big slides in the back. It was kind of nice taking the pits around the park. Yeah, so the, the, the center field area will be an area that will be um, uh, moderately improved this year. Uh, a new set of inflatables and kids' activities will be here by opening day, so we're very excited about that. That's an area we think that will continue to improve over years to come. Um, certainly happy to entertain anybody's ideas for additional ideas for things we can do to make the ballpark better. Every year we're going to look deeper and try and find different ways to make this a better experience for, uh, for fans. And so look for new inflatables in center field that will be here by April 7th. Any other questions? We really appreciate you guys coming down this afternoon. Again, baseball will be here in one week with Florida, Florida State. All the projects that we announced today will be ready uh, for when the gates open next week, next Tuesday for that. And then a, uh, a, a really exciting day planned for April 7th. Opening day, or really the first new uh, chapter in the evolution of this, of this franchise as we take the field for the first time on April 7th at 7 p.m. So look forward to seeing you. More information is at jacksons.com for the media here today. Uh, we have copies of the renderings for you that will be available, copies of the release, and everything will be available online here just within a matter of minutes. And I'm happy to take some one-on-one -on -one questions from anybody who'd like to hang around. And uh, really appreciate you carving a little bit of time out on a busy afternoon. I know a busy news day today to be here with us here at the stadium. So thank you so much for your time. That's right, Marlon family. That was Ken Babby, uh, the new owner of the Jacksonville Suns, uh, talking about the really great improvements of 1.8 million. 1.8 million improvements they're making to what is already an awesome ballpark in Jacksonville. So we really hope to see everybody come up to Jacksonville this year. I know Chi Chi's excited. She's got her little Marlin shirt on, ready to start uh, seeing some baseball here at the ball grounds. Like I said, August 7th. Uh, opening day, like so that tiki bar, that tiki lounges wall is going to go right up to the uh, left field wall, so you're going to be able to hang out at the bar, uh, the walk right down, uh, have your drink, and uh, like I said, sit there and hackle the left fielder if you want to. But like I said it's going to be really great um, place to enjoy a game out there in left field. Like I said, some awesome, really great things they're doing with like I said with the sundowner lounge. Like I said, you'll be able to go into the Sundown Lounge upstairs and still walk out and see the game through the big uh, windows right there behind home plate. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome time uh, in Jacksonville this year. So I uh, hope all the Marlin family comes out and uh, checks out the uh, new new digs at the ball grounds. Like I said, also doing some really cool things for some group uh, areas. And uh, like I said, that's just, just phase one, just phase one of the improvements. Um, like I said, there's a whole bunch of little pictures here that I'll be showing you on this thing um, that about the uh, the way this Tiki Bounce is going to look. Like I said, it's going to be coming around real quick. I will be back at Bregan Field uh, for the Florida Florida State game. I think we all know where I'm headed. Um, like it says, uh, so you will get another video then. We'll check out the Tiki Bounce because it's going to be ready for the Florida State Florida game. So uh, we'll check it out. For the next time, uh, like I said, I'm Sons Dan. This is Marlin Family. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hit up the YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Let's go Marlins. Let's go Jacksonville Sons. Everybody come on out. Bregan Field, April 7th. Check out the new Tiki Lounge. It's going to be a great time. Chi Chi's excited. She's real excited right now. So let's go Marlins. Let's go Sons. Later. <laughs>